everyone, welcome back to another video. I know that this is coming out a little bit late, but I was visiting family over the holiday, so I didn't notice it until I just got home. So, yeah, I'm just going to celebrate it right now. So this is just going to be a quick preview of what is coming up next in Eorzea, the next big seasonal event, which, if you remember, is the equivalent to New Year's or Heavenstern. So, a new year fast approaches, and once more the Twelve convey to decide who among them will oversee the coming year. Such divine matters mean little in the Far East, however, and a delegate from those distant lands has come to Eorzea in the hopes of sharing their celebratory customs. Alas, their plans to mark the new year appear to have gone away, and the Ushu Bugyo seeks assistance to steer their celebration back onto its proper course. Okay, so let's read on for more details. So the first thing we notice is <laughs> um, it looks like a minotaur chasing a monk. So uh, that's cute. I'm not going to lie. I think that's really cute. So it's usually a very short, quick quest. And we usually have like a special animal, like equivalent to the Chinese New Year. So this year is actually the year of the ox, I think, or the year of the bull. As you can see with the Minotaur chasing this guy here who looks like he's just having a grand old time. So, yeah, Heavenstern celebrated an extraordinary new year. So this will be taking place from Thursday, December 31st, and it will last until Monday, January 18th. So just over two weeks. So that will give us plenty of time to really enjoy the seasonal event and see what they have for this year. Okay, so this quest, like every year, it takes place in Limsa Lomensa. That is where you can unlock it. So the quest is called Steering Clear of Trouble. The Usha Bugyo requires assistance to steer this year's celebration back on course. So according to this, the only requirement that you need to be is a level 15. And you can actually see a quick picture of what the guy is supposed to look like. He's right here. He's right here on the upper decks just outside Maelstrom Command. And he's going to be the one wearing like the bull hat, <laughs> like the bull helm. So kind of what we were expecting, we actually get three items. Usually it's going to be two different colored hats as well as a special housing item. So this year we have the Crimson Ushia Kabuto and the Black Ushi Kabuto. So these are just pictures of what they look like. They are bull heads on top of like those samurai helms. So, I'm really normally not a big fan of those. I think they're cool looking. I think they're really neat to collect. But, yeah, I think that they're just a little bit too much here and there. However, this year we have a very special housing item, which is known as the Handmade Akabiko. The Year of the Ox simply would be incomplete without a pair of nodding cattle in every home. May their nodding never cease, even after their appointed year has come to an end. Okay, so I'm guessing that these things are actually going to be like bobbleheads. So uh, most of the Heaven Storm items are interactive. So you just click on them and they usually move about. And so I'm guessing that these two little ox, I guess we got like the parent and the baby here. So if you click on those, they'll just bob their heads on and off. So yeah, that's pretty much all that we can be expecting. Um, Heaven Storm isn't normally one of the bigger events that we have, so it doesn't surprise me that we only have a couple items this year. I mean, I always am happy to see a new seasonal event coming back to Eorzea, especially after this last year. And, and I mean, come on, after this last year, we need a good way to celebrate. We need to celebrate 2021 like with as much celebration as we possibly can. All right, so that looks like that's it for now. I hope everyone's looking forward for Heavenstrom. I know I am. I know that I am so looking forward to seeing the end of this year. Hopefully 2021 is going to start off strong, going to be much better than it has been this last year. And I'm looking forward to seeing everybody there competing to get the sticky rice or the rice cakes, I think they are. Either way, looking forward to it. Hope you are too, and I'll be seeing you all again soon. Bye.